now this video is a straight to the point kind of video it's actually centered on valentine day gift ideas that you can actually give to him to her to your significant other on valentine's day you guys already know that i am not part of the stingy men association neither am i part of the stingy women association i believe so much in gifting as gifting is a love language to me now let's not get it wrong when you're gifting someone it doesn't have to be too big it doesn't have to be so mighty of course if you have the money why not but when you you don't have it you need to understand that gifting someone especially on valentine's day has to do with thoughtful gifts like gifting someone on valentine's day is not all about how cumbersome or how big it is valentine's day is basically about creating memories so your gifts may not be so big but then it should be a thoughtful gift and so guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys some gift ideas that cost little or nothing. If this looks like a video you want to listen to, make sure to keep on watching. Now the first Valentine's Day gift idea I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I know that it is quite popular, is what everybody say, but then don't forget that I told you guys Valentine's Day is all about creating memories. So memories could be created from 0 to 100 in less than 15 minutes. So the first gift idea I'm going to be sharing with you guys is going out on a date with your significant other. Now if you have money, it's fine. You can actually go out on a date to any fancy restaurant or any place. But sometimes when you want to spend time with your significant other, especially for my kind of person, and I know a lot of other people, I love the alone time. So it's either you can create this date, you know, in a private restaurant where you don't have so many people coming around, or you can actually create this date at home. You can create this date at home. Now, this idea is not only for the guys or for the girls. Yes, you can create this amazing moment for either the guy or the girl. So if you're the guy watching me, you can actually create a date experience with your significant other in your house in her house every whatever whatever house you guys decide or you can actually create such memories with them now you can switch up this memory now you can decide to you know do a very nice table setting of course if you type on google how to do a nice table setting you definitely see table setting ideas how to you know google is more or less a search engine you definitely see you know those table setting ideas you set your table you can buy scented candles you know put them in everywhere smelling so nice you know aside send the candles also you can also you know switch as in like switch 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 the bulbs like it doesn't have to be regular see it doesn't have that that is the thought behind it, it doesn't have to be regular you can decide not to use your white bulb or your yellow bulb or your shining bulb i like to use okay let me see the blue bulbs or the red bulbs with soft music and then you cook a special meal for your significant other you know that meal that they usually really 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 crave for you prepare that amazing meal for them in a well set and lit table invite them over and have dinner with them do you even know the kind of ambience you're going to be creating by doing that? Like I told you before, don't go and do the table anyhow. Eh, mm -hmm, he's not a girl already, he's not a guy already. No, I beg, I beg. No, no. You have to switch it up from zero to hundred real quick. You can actually do a very nice table setting. Set the meals, get a nice plate. Set the meals, everything so much on point, and then you know invite your significant other there. Now, the thing that can actually spoil this date. Is where you go about complaining. Now you know you come on a date and then you point out to yourself and we need to work on this relationship. You know you have been doing this to me, you have been doing that, your personality is this, you're this kind of person. No way. Keep those nagging problems to yourself, keep them somewhere else and simply focus on the date for the moment. You guys, like you have enough time to complain. Talk about how 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 whatever that person is. You but you can actually switch it up and talk about your relationship or your marriage or whatever environment is. Ask yourself some questions. Talk about how you met the person, how everything was, blah blah blah. How you hope that this love can continue, it can grow, reminisce on good moments. Let's try not to be unromantic. We are all adults on this channel. Let's try to be good, sweet. Talk about nice thoughts together. Talk about how you met her, how she was very shy, how you met him, how he was very shy, how you guys direct from Romola to my three, and all of all 
those nice stuff creating memories and this costs you little or nothing just you going to the market and buying stuff preparing it and then just stock now if you want to switch it over from a hundred to a two hundred percent you can actually create a karaoke date hey hey <laughs> Don't mind me though. But you know what a karaoke is, right? You can actually get, you know, the bits of some song. For instance, the video, if, 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 you know, if, if I tell you so I love you. And then in that middle, middle evening um, dinner date, and then you can just, you know, put, you know, put that song on your TV or whatever. And then, you know, you guys are going to be like, okay, who will be the first person to guess the artist that sang this? No, no, not the artist. Who can sing this song? So you now put the music and you know the video now goes dun, 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 and this is this person's song and every person now sings it you know it could do you that's start switching though from the video to one of all those songs that you, you guys listen to that you guys love that you guys listen to my dear create this moment she's going to marry she's gonna say yes he's going to say he's gonna ask you the question she's gonna say yes and you guys will invite me to the wedding and that's it I'll come and dance you know People give me children. <laughs> another, another, another most important gift that you can actually give to a person on Valentine's Day is the gift of words. You guys, the gift of words can never, ever, ever, ever go out of fashion. Now, first off, if you don't want to do the Valentine's Day thing, now think about a situation whereby your significant order isn't working in the same state as you're working in. Let me say the person is in Abuja while you are in Lagos or wherever you guys are maybe keeping a distant relationship or not keeping a distant relationship and then you now give the person the gift of words. Now, I always say this thing, gifts are always thoughtful. Sometimes your gift don't have to be cost a million or a billion but your simple, 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 simple things can actually change things up and everyone ever will be like, oh my god, I'm in love. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. Don't pretend that you don't know what I mean. So, talking about gifts of words, what if you, on Valentine's Day, you actually sit down and then you write out, ah, 10 things I like about Dory, or 10 things I like about, let me say, Bright, or let me say, just a random person's name, things I like about this girl, or this guy, or whatever. And then you now like write out those things that you, you like about them and you. You send it to them. Let me say you don't know how to inform it with, with your words. You now like send them a text message on them any Valentine's Day morning. Or you want to switch it off. You simply write out the paintings that you like about them, or five things you like about them, or five things they have done that have. Or just write about them. You have been supporting, you have been around in good times, in bad times. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. And you write those things. And then you just attach it to a box of chocolate. And then you send it to her office or his office. You guys, you are getting married on February 16th, so I can come to the wedding. <laughs> yes, the truth is that there are people whose love, who not just forget about love languages now. There are people who just like it when you tell them nice things. They want to hear good things about themselves. Of course, we want to. It's very easy for us to complain about somebody, but how many times do we try to tell those people? very nice talk about themselves and then be even consistent in writing those nice words about them now you don't want to be boring and just send a normal valentine day text message i'm telling you that you can actually switch this off by simply write out those things to be handwritten or you could actually tell so maybe it's not in the um place where the person is staying you could say okay i want what to be handwritten or just print it out for me paint this and write about manual or uh, whoever the person is so you don't write it down and then after writing it you can like, type it and you know attach it to a box of chocolate or attach it to something that this person likes for a guy it could be a coffee or anything but you see he's not going to look at that other gift or she's not going to to look at that other gift she'll be focused on those 10 things that you look about and to be honest with you this is a meaningful gift see except you are with somebody that's all about the money 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 oh my god she just wrote 10 things she couldn't even buy me this she couldn't give, even buy me that, 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 that. Like, somebody who truly really likes you those little stuffs could be actually so meaningful so try it out on valentine's day and let me know what you think mm -hmm. 
Another amazing bar gift idea you can actually try out is taking the person out on the spa date. You know that this person works so hard, this guy works so hard, or this girl works really, really, really so hard. You can actually decide that, okay, I want to take her out on the spa date, you know, just take her to a masseuse, a spa. I don't think you spend up more than 20k or 15k, and you can actually go there, do massage the person, walk the person, whatever, whatever, the body, the person will feel so good, and from there, you guys can now go out and get one or two things. A spa date is so thoughtful because I, like i told you guys before everything that has to be valentine has been a thoughtful gift and a valuable gift and like i said before valuable gifts don't have to be high monetary value gifts it's it's like it's more like you know the person's personal interest and then your gift appeals to that person's personal interest so you can actually take the person out on his palette you already know that this guy has been working so hard this girl has been working really 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 so hard and she's so stressed like as you can see i'm stressed even though i'm not working so hard <laughs> And then you now take the person out on his spa date and the person is being massaged, the person is being, you guys know all those fast, 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 fast things they used to do, you know, hey, there. so, like I was saying before, let's get serious guys, and actually take him out on his spa date or on all this, all this, um, this is, this is skin, all the skincare, they're, they're, they're all the skincare clinics that actually help, the, you know, when somebody is stressed, you can see the person's face, this will be getting pimples like me, or the face is a bit rough, and all of that, and then there's some hospitals I know of in Lagos, that actually, you can actually bring somebody there, and then they will be like, helping the person, you know, taking care of the person's face, massaging the person's face, doing this and doing that, those are thoughtful gifts and they don't cost nothing another thoughtful and amazing bounce the gift idea you can actually give to your significant other is something that person needs or something that person craves yeah so let us be honest there are things that you have noticed that that person needs you don't need to say oh you should not tell me can you not see <laughs> or he did not tell me can you not see the reality is that when somebody needs something, that person says it directly or indirectly. That is the truth. That person says it directly or indirectly. Or if that person craves for something, that person says it directly or indirectly. So, this guy may have been complaining of his laptop battery is really good. It is frustrating him. Or she has been complaining that she could not buy a particular thing. Let me say she's to sew. She could not buy a sewing machine. Or she needed to pay for a class, an online class of 5k. She didn't have the money at the moment. Or he has been complaining that he really wanted to taste a particular cake class of oh, this woman, her food, this skin, Jesus, like over the bed. Ah, I feel like eating red velvet cake with oh, no, this banana bread is so sweet. What as in like what will it cost? For you to save up no matter how small 5k 10k 15k and then get the person's particular gift and send it on valentine's day it really shows that i was listening to what you said and what you did not see and to be honest that person if it's a person that has sense if it's not somebody that owes about money 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 the person is definitely going to value you so another thing is sometimes you need to give people the gift of your presence you need to also give them a gift of your presence. Let me say, for instance, you have been far away for a very, very long time, and you guys have not seen on Valentine's Day. You just surprise this person with your friends, like just coming to PH, or just travel to Abuja, or just travel to wherever the person is, and just see the person on Valentine's Day. And you know, this person has been always about, ah, we are, we're gonna go to the dog, we're gonna go to the dog, we're gonna go to the dog, and all of that. So you can actually give the person the gift of your presence so you need to just check out these options this this what i just said right now this particular um, part i just talked about is appealing to one's personal interest so you need to check out what is it that this guy is always talking about what is it that this girl is always 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 talking about what is it that i can do for this person that that this person would actually appreciate is it that his house has been scattered or her house has been whatever i like saying it to me because i believe that Giving gift is not gender based. It is not the man's work to always give you gifts. Neither is it the woman's work to always give you gifts. And I say, and I always say that gifts doesn't have to be monetary. I've given you guys a lot of examples in this video. Even if it's monetary, it doesn't have to cost so much. So you can actually ah, this guy's car is always yeah, he always spends so much washing car. Do you understand? Or he always spends so much ironing clothes. What did I tell him that for me? 
Valentine's Day, I'm gonna take care of his washing of his car for the entire week. Bills on me. Uh, bills on me. You know how happy it will make him feel. When you're like on Valentine's Day, you always pay how much to transport to work. Okay, well, this is Valentine's with Madame. Send me a account number. I'm sending you your transport for the entire week. Like, <laughs> Do you know like about this? It's just so fun. It's the thought behind it. It is a value you place to me. It also has to be so much. I hope that at the end of this video, people will stop complaining that they don't have money. You know now, when I used to have money, I used to buy you something, but I no longer have money. It is not always about the money, Oga. It is about the thoughtfulness and the thoughts and the value attached to the gift. Yeah. You guys, with this few points of mine, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you can actually spend for your significant other. You can actually get them a Valentine's gift that costs little to nothing and switch up your whatever you guys are doing from zero to a hundred percent it's the season of love guys let's give love and i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you put it all i said into practice drop a comment down below let me know how your valentine day is coming how it's going to be like for those of us that are going to be on the internet shouting oh no, and eating popcorn the lord is our strength and our muscle everything but i hope you guys like this video do not forget to subscribe do not forget to like don't forget to share this video with your friends download it share with them people that are like i'm not getting anything for that girl or i'm not getting anything with this guy share with them tell them that it's nothing it's all about love this season and i'll see you guys in my next video bye